When it comes to doing something, planning what you intend to do is essential. Writing down what you want is the first step. It's no different when it comes to your personal self-development. Plan for it, keep it brief, and monitor what happens. Write down the results in a diary. Writing down what you want and what you get clarifies your thought process and cements your intention. You are allowed to change or adjust your plan whenever you wish. If there is no success as you follow the steps in your plan, that's your signal to review what you have done or to adjust your plan. Watch the whole video and subscribe to the channel. Here are 30 tips to consider for your self-development plan. Number one, start now. Do something about your personal development plan today. It's going to take some time to achieve lasting change, so you need to start now. You can build on what you do today, tomorrow. Don't become a pro at procrastination. You cannot escape the responsibility of tomorrow by evading it today. Abraham Lincoln. Number two, baby steps. To make a plan, you need to include steps. Break a large goal into its smallest components. Keep the end result in mind as you focus on the smaller bite-sized steps. Number three, learn from other people. You can gain from the success of other people and you can learn from their mistakes. Your own experience is a harsh teacher, so learn from the mistakes of others. If you can find a mentor or coach, your task will be easier. Read as many books as you can. Number four, embrace change. The world is changing all the time. Even if you do nothing, you will change by default as the world turns. There is no escape from this. If people and ideas did not change, we would all still be living in caves. Your personal self-development plan needs to include how you are going to change. What action will you take? Only action leads to results. I see better than I hear comes to mind here. Number five, be accountable. You are responsible for your own progress. You are responsible for what you are today and where you are today. That means it's your job to initiate the steps involved in your personal development plan. If you don't bother, no one else will. It also means you own the result and no one else is to blame. The buck stops here. Number six, be grateful and recognize your worth. Focus on what you already have. Think about how others benefit from what you do. If you improve yourself, those benefits will increase. Your personal development is for others as well as for you. Number seven, be intentional. Whatever you intend becomes your reality. Find your true intention before you resolve to do something and make sure you really want what you say you want. If your goal and your intention are not aligned, then you'll think up lots of excuses and all sorts of situations to prevent your progress. Number eight, challenge yourself. Your goals need to be just out of reach. If you reach for an impossible target, you're setting yourself up for a failure. If you stick to what's easy, you're denying yourself the satisfaction of achievement and only minimal change will occur. Find that middle ground with a stretch goal in your personal self-development. Number nine, follow your passion. It's no good doing things that you don't like. Choose actions that appeal to you and are in line with your values. Pick people to help you that you like being around. Make sure you're following your heart while not running from the hard issues. Become a master in the art of living, where people can't tell if you're working or playing, because to you, you're always doing both. Number 10, keep going and never give up. Life works in cycles and moves to a rhythm. You will have ups and downs. When you hit a slow point or things don't seem to be moving, don't give up, keep going. There's no such thing as continual rapid advancement, and that means your personal development plan needs to be achievable and balanced. Find your rhythm and go with the flow. Number 11, learn visualization techniques. Visualize yourself taking the steps necessary to achieve your goal, and achieving that success will help you to break toxic thought patterns, keep you motivated, and to be more natural along the way. Number 12, avoid negative thoughts. It is essential that you keep a positive attitude. Monitor your thoughts, and when you start running an old toxic film, cut those negative thoughts at the root. Number 13, meditate. Spending a few minutes a day controlling your breathing and focusing your mind will be very helpful when you have to cope with stressful situations outside of your comfort zone. Number 14, be resilient. The road to success is paved with errors and unexpected setbacks. There are few things you'll get right the first time. It doesn't matter if you fall. The only problem is not getting up. Number 15, only compete against yourself. Toxic competition with other people will only wear you out. Focus on your goal and how you are going to achieve it. Number 16, set small challenges. 
Just as missing a penalty leaves a negative imprint, overcoming small challenges leaves a positive imprint that will help you to move forward with more determination. Number 17. Be persistent. Don't give in to laziness or disappointment. Keep moving toward your goal as consistently as possible. If you set your mind on achieving your objectives every day, this attitude will become part of your personality. Number 18. Celebrate victories. It is good to reward yourself for small triumphs. These treats will motivate you to keep moving forward. Number 19. Toxic attitudes to avoid. Just as to achieve self-improvement, you need to know which psychological tools to master. You must also be aware that your attitudes may perpetuate toxic mental patterns, and therefore you must avoid being negative. If you are still mentally projecting films in which everything goes wrong, of course everything is going to go wrong. Waiting idly by. Success is not going to come looking for you. If you do not move toward the goal, you will always be the same distance away. Not believing in your own success. If you convince yourself that you're never going to succeed, that is exactly what will happen. 21. Assess the skills you have and the skills you want to develop. Having goals and objectives is great, but you need to evaluate your strengths and weaknesses. You can assess your skills before starting your personal development. Do you need more education or other skills? When considering your personal growth goals, consider the knowledge and resources you have for attaining personal development in the workplace. For example, if you want to be more productive at work, you can start by keeping track of how you currently spend your time. This personal assessment can be the first step towards attaining your goal because you can see where you need to manage your time more effectively. 22. Third, focus on the most important steps in your personal growth process. Setting priorities for your personal growth is essential. Have a plan for what is most important for your personal development. Knowing what is most important for you will help you plan systematically what you are going to do to achieve personal development. 23. Then, seek reliable resources to help you reach your goals. Some good resources that you can tap for your personal growth are your Human Resources Department for mentoring programs, coworkers for ideas on how to move forward as a team member, or management for ideas on how to proceed with leadership initiatives. Other resources for your personal development are higher education, conferences, and networking. 24. Get a little trippy. Overwork may be necessary sometimes, but should not be your default mode, as it leads to burnout. If you're sensing its effects, plan a little getaway and ease off the throttle. Number 25. Lose control. To get the most done, you cannot do it all. Delegation is an important skill for any leader. It may go against your perfectionist nature, but you need to trust the people around you. Number 26. Re-enroll. The same concepts that educators bring to lesson planning can help you in lifelong learning. What skill do you need to improve drastically on? Plan a nine-month curriculum for it this weekend. 27. Dream big. What do you want to do with the rest of your life? Maybe you're imagining a career change or something significant to occupy you in retirement. Get clarity with a lengthy journaling session. 28. Get the worm. Wake up at 5 a.m. to spend 20 minutes exercising, 20 minutes in prayer or reflection, and 20 minutes focused on your personal growth. 29. Lead yourself. Know that the success of the people around you is vital to the team's success, and their success is largely dependent on you. Make it a personal goal to read at least one leadership book per quarter. 30. Set a stretch goal. To achieve his highest grossing month ever, our solopreneur writer needed only to reframe his personal expectations. Commit to doing more than you thought possible by writing down a big goal. So these were the 30 tips for personal growth and self-development. We hope you liked today's video. And if you do, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel.